Felipe Gutierrez is the 2015-2016 TMCC Region Scholar, former president of the Truckee Meadows Veterans Club, and serving president of Wolfpack Veterans Club. <laughs> Felipe also joins us as our uh, introductory speaker to, in, to showcase the student veteran that uh, exemplifies the the Engage mission. Felipe graduated in 20, uh, 2005 from the North Valley's High School and then enrolled in Truckee Meadows Community College for two semesters when he decided to enlist in the United States Marine Corps. He served in Anbar Province, Iraq, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Cape Town, South Africa, and 29 Palms, California. Everybody knows that that's probably the most arduous duty station there is. Uh, upon completing his six years of uh, service to his country, he returned to TMCC to complete an Associate of Business in uh, Associate of Arts in Business. He continued to serve his college community by becoming the founder, founding member, a founding member. The founding member is here with us, Mr. Ryan Gertschman, um, of Truckee Meadows Veterans Club. Currently, he serves as the president of Wolfpack Veterans Club. He's in his senior year, studying for a bachelor's in international business with an accounting emphasis. I want to welcome to the podium, Mr. Felipe Gutierrez. So I would like to begin by thanking all, all of you for coming. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Felipe Gutierrez and I'm the current president of Wolfpack Veterans Club here at the University of Nevada. But not only am I a president of a student organization, I'm a brother, I'm a husband, and I'm a recent father. It has been a journey to get where I am today. My transition wasn't easy. I even thought I had it under control. Not until I got involved with a student veteran organization at Truckee Meadows, the TMC veterans, that I realized how lost I was. I would like to quote the warrior monk, Secretary of, Secretary of Defense General James Mattis, from his speech to his troops before the invasion of Iraq. He said, engage your brain before you engage your weapon. This applies to more than just war. This applies to our everyday lives especially in the changes we experience. All of us in this room have made some kind of transition at some point, be it from active duty back to college, high school to college, or the transition some of us have not made yet, student to full-time employee. To make, these change, to make these changes meaningful, we must make these transitions as smooth as possible. Our weapons have changed to the knowledge and experience we gather through the years, the tools developed in ways we never expected and we never know when they, most, when they might be needed the most. Everyone in this room has the tools to change someone's life or situation and you never know when you'll be called upon to help. I'm reminded of a time while serving as a Marine Security Guard at the U.S. Consulate General in Rio de Janeiro. I was probably halfway through my afternoon shift when one of my local guards comes up to me and in broken, port in broken English she tries to tell me there's, there's a young American citizen that wants to talk to me. I tell her, tell her to come back on Monday, the consulate's closed. But he kept, he kept trying to tell me that I needed to talk to her. At first I just disregarded him. So finally I told him, in my very broken Portuguese to tell me in Portuguese because I understood his Portuguese better than his English to screen her and allow her to come into the building and approach my window. At this point the severity of what was going on became clear. I see a young woman maybe no older than me at the time, 24, enter and begin the screening process. After she completes the screening process, she approaches my window. I put my cover on and I start of thinking of a way to tell her that she needed to come back on Monday. The young lady told me she was here on a business meeting and that she didn't have any money, she didn't have a phone, and she didn't speak the local language. I just sat there and nodded. The whole mood changed once she told me the person she was here to meet tried to take her wallet and her passport. By this time, the red flags were up. I asked her to take a seat so I could call our regional security officer and ask him how he wanted me to handle the situation. 
He told me to stand by and that he'd be in in a half an hour. Once he was in and got a sense for the situation, he comes up to me and tells me that she needs to get out of Brazil and go back to the States. I asked why. He told me that she thought she was a victim of human trafficking. I'm telling you this story for two reasons. One, never meet a stranger in a foreign country alone. And two, you never know when someone may need your help. If I would have followed proper procedures and asked her to come back on Monday, who knows what would have happened to her. The tool that served me that day was my intuition and my compassion. We need to always value and sharpen the weapons we already have while crafting and honing new ones. The only way I've seen that most effectively accomplished is by getting out, of, out every day engaging with my peers and colleagues to see what tools and experiences they have so they can share it with me. I challenge everyone in this room to engage your community, your university, your employer, or your peers. Sharpen your minds and your new weapons. If you are engaged, you will see that the community thrive and you will know you made it happen. Thank you. <coughs> Simplify. Thank you, Felipe.